वी आर लुकिंग एट आर डी शर्मा सोल्यूशन क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर नाइनटीन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन एक्सरसाइज नाइनटीन पॉइंट टू इफ एम प्लस वन एथ टर्म ऑफ एन ए पी इज ट्वाइस दी एन प्लस वन एथ टर्म प्रूव दैट थ्री एम प्लस वन एथ टर्म इज ट्वाइस दैट ऑफ एम प्लस एन प्लस वन एथ टर्म सो वट इज गिवन a m plus one uh, a sub m plus one is equal to twice of a n plus one term. So we have to prove this a three uh, m plus three m plus one plus one is equal to twice of a m plus n plus one term. First, let us solve this a plus Now, in place of n, we are going to write m plus one minus one into d equal to twice a plus n plus one one minus one into d. M plus one and n plus one we have written minus d. So, what do we get? A plus m d. And here you get a plus two two a and n d two a plus two a plus two n d. Now take a on one side and other things on one side. So two a minus a is a, and you have this two n d minus m d. Now keep it like this, or you want to take you can take common also. You can take this is two m d minus two n d, m minus two d two n. So now uh, come to this one a three m plus one. What is this? A three m plus one will be a plus three m plus one minus one into d. So this will be a a plus three m d. This is a three m plus one. Now coming to a a m plus n plus one. So now you have you just put this this here. So you can put this m d minus two n d plus 3m d. I am replacing a what we got in the previous one. So m d you have 4m d minus 2n d, and you can take two common. It will be, or you can take 2d common also. So you get 2d common. So 2m minus n. Now this is a 3m plus one. Coming to a m plus n plus one. So what do you get? A plus M plus n plus one minus one into d. So you get a plus m d plus n d. One one cancels. Now a what you have to do? A just put this m d minus two n d plus n d. And what do you get? This m d m d two m d and n d minus two n d is minus n d. Now here this is this is twice of two m d minus n d, and this is what this is what we got a m plus n plus one. So twice of this, and what was this a three m plus one. So a three m plus one is equal to twice of a m plus n plus one. If the nth term of the AP nine seven five is same as the nth term of AP fifteen twelve nine, find n. So do, both have nth term similar. That means if you take this as a n or b n or you can take any other character. So a is nine here. What is d seven minus nine? That is minus two. Here a is fifteen. D is what? Twelve minus fifteen. That is minus three. Now equate the nth term. Both of both nth term you can equate now. So you get get nine plus n minus one into d. That is minus two, and this is equal to fifteen plus n minus one into what is d? My this is minus three. So what do you get? You get nine. Minus two n plus two 
is equal to 15 minus 3n minus uh, plus 3. So 9 plus 2 is 11, 11 minus 2n equals 18, 15 plus 3 is 18. Now take 3n one side and numbers on other side. So 3n minus 2n equals 18 minus 11. So n will be equal to 7. So seventh term of the of both the AP is same. Seventh term of both the AP are going to be same value. Find the twelfth term from the end of the following arithmetic progressions. So from end, the formula is clear. When you have AP, take the last term, call it L. So it is just write it here and then take a minus. Then you take n minus 1 into d. So what is the last term? In every, in these three uh, sub parts, we have to find the twelfth term. So 2, 0, 1, first one is 12 minus 1 is 11. And what is d? 5 minus 3 is 2. d will remain 5 uh, minus 3 only because we have deal we have dealt with the negative that is why it is negative so uh, 203 minus uh, 22 and this is going to be 179 179 you can just add 22 and find confirm it it is 203 so this is so this is 2 into 11 now coming to the second one similarly 253 l last term minus n minus 1 12 minus 1 that is 11 into d. What is d? 8 minus 3, 5. So 253 minus 55 is 198. Here also 88 is the last term and plus uh, minus sorry. n minus 1 is uh, 11 and 4 minus 1 is 3. So this is 88 minus 55 that is going to 55. 80 minus 33 is 55. The fourth term of an AB is 3 times the first term and the the first first situation is fourth term a plus 3d is thrice of thrice of the first term and 3d will be equal to 2a you can either either you can write a as 3d by 2 or you can write d as 2a by 3 both way you can write then the seventh term exceeds twice the third term by 1. Seventh term exceeds, so A, A7 exceeds the twice of third term. So twice of third term and this is, if you subtract 1 from A7, it is going to be equal to twice of A3. So you can write it as A7 equal to 2A3 plus 1. Now A7 is A plus 6D and twice A plus 2D and plus 1. So A plus 6D will be equal to 2a plus 4d plus 1 and take a one side d one side so a 2a a and 6d minus 4d is 2d and 2a minus a is a a plus 1 now put a as 3d by 2 so a is 3d by 2 plus 1 and this is going to be 3d just multiply both sides by 2 so 2d or you can bring this also here minus let us solve it for d so 4d minus 3d by 2 equal to 1 so 4d that is d d is equal to 2 4d minus 3d is 2 is 1 uh, d only so now a will be 3 by 2d a will be equal to 3 so d will come as 2 and a will come as 3 find the second term and the nth term of ap whose sixth term is 12 and eighth term is 22. Second term and nth term have to found out. So 6 is what? 6 term a plus 5d. A eighth term is a plus 7d. 1 is 12, 1 is 22. Now when we solve this, let me solve this. a plus 7d equals to uh, 22 and a plus 5d is 12. Subtract these two. So you have 2d, this is 10, d is equal to 10 by 2 that is 5. Now put in any one of this equation, a will be equal to minus 30. So a plus n minus 1 into d. So you have to find out which one. This is going to be 5n minus 18 for a nth. Then you have to find a2, a plus 2 minus 1 into d, a plus d. That is going to be minus 8.
minus 8. So minus 8 will come. How many numbers of two digits are divisible by 3? So how many kitre number hai jo teen se do digit wale jo teen se divide ho jayenge? So you know we know that first two digit number is what? 10. What is the last 10 digit, uh, two digit number? 99. What is the first number which is divisible by uh, 3? So 12 will be the first. 10, 10 does not, uh, 3 does not divide 10, 3 does not divide 11. So 12 will be the first. Last is 99. It is divisible by 3. So you have 12, 15, 18 like this. So this is a series available to you. Now here, the last term is 99. And first term, 12. And just n minus 1 into d. What is d? 15 minus 12. 3, 3 divisible. So now n will be equal to 30. So 32 digits number are divisible by 3. In between, there are 32 two, two digits number basically. And AP consists of 60 terms. So n is given as 60. If the first and last terms be 7 and 125, first term is given, last term is given. We have to find 32nd term. 32nd term. So A32 you have to find out. So A, A plus 31D we need to find out. What is A? 7. What is 31? Uh, now D we don't know. So for that we have to use the last term. 125. So we have 125 as the last term. And this is equal to A. A is already known. Plus N minus 1 into N minus 1 into n is known, n is 60, 60 minus 1 into d. So when we are going to solve this, uh, equal to 7 plus 59d and d is going to be equal to 2 here and put in here, you are going to get a32 as 69, a d you have to put as 2, a32 will be 69. The sum of 4th and 8th term of an AP is 24. A4 and A8 are plus is 24. Sum of 6th and 10th, A6 plus A10 is 34. Find the first term and the common difference. So A plus 3D, this is A4. A8 is A plus 7D equal to 24. So what do you get? 2A plus 10D equal to 24. So A plus 5D equal to 12. Now A plus 5D plus A plus 9D, A6 plus A10 equal to 34. So, a plus a is 2a, 5 plus 9 is 14, 14d equal to 34, divide by 2, a plus 7d equal to 17. So, now I just put this here, the first equation. So, you get 2d equal to 5. So, d is equal, d, d equals 5 by 2. Now, put in any of this equation, a is going to come as minus half. If if a n if if a n is an ap such that a4 by a7 is equal to 2 by 3 we have to find a6 by a8 so there is a sequence there is a sequence is an ap and it is given a4 by a7 is 2 by 3 a6 by a8 we have, we have to find so a4 by a7 is 2 by 3 so A4 is what? A plus 3D. A plus 7 is A plus 6D. This is going to be 2 by 3. Cross multiply. Cross multiply. On solve, you are going to get uh, 3A plus 9D equal to 2A plus 12D. It is going to be A is A equal to 3D. A equal to 3D is there. Now A6 by A8. A6 is what? A plus 5D. A8 is A plus 7D. Now put A in place of A, put 3D. In place of A, put 3D. So 3D plus 5D, 3D plus 7D. 3D plus 5D is 8D. 3D plus 7D is 10D. So 8D by 10D. 8D by 10D will come. This is 4 by 5. So the answer will be 4 by 5. The first and the last term of an AP are A and L respectively. A and L. Show that the sum of n term from the beginning and n term from the end is A plus L. So A is the first term, L is the last term. And we have to show that the n term from the beginning a plus n minus 1 into d this is the first n term from the start and n term from the rear from the rear you have to take l you have to take l as the first term and minus and n minus 1 into 
D, C, D remains the same. So, first term in the first case is A, second case from the rear or the back, you have to take L and then minus. Now, we have to add them A plus N D minus D and plus L minus N D plus D. So, what do you get? N D, this D D cancels, N D N D cancels, you get A plus L. And this is what to be proved. And there is one more question uh, in my addition. It is not given. If you if you have, then just check it. You can refer this. So thank you so much. This is all about this exercise. Take care of yourself.